LeBron James and a recent quote that he said on a podcast. Uh, this is what LeBron James said about his future with the Lakers. Listen, I, I truly hope that I can finish my career with the Lakers and how many yeah. years that is, if it's, if it's four or five, six, whatever, seven. There we go. You know, I hope I can I continue to play the game. You know, I yeah. love being in L.A. My family loves being in L.A. Being with a historical franchise like the Lakers is something like, it's like me, you know, being in Space Jam now. I never thought it'd be possible. You think yeah. about Kareem and Magic and Wilt and Jerry West and Elgin Baylor, Kobe Shaq, all the, the whole list goes on. And that's what LeBron said. So, uh, Mark, you're somebody that likes to refer to LeBron James as your stepdad <laughs> because you're a hardcore Kobe Bryant fan. When you heard that, what was your initial reaction? Well, I, first of all, uh, the, the fact that he's saying that, uh, oh, I never thought I'd be at Space Gym too. Dude, you've been in talks uh, for like the last 10 years. So like, I, well, then again, like here we go again with uh, LeBron James being LeBron James. But uh, I don't mind it. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Like, I'm going to, you know, I'll talk all the crap I, I usually do about him, but uh, I'm not going to mind him being, a, you know, a Laker uh, for the rest of his career. I mean, it doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother you. Here's the thing. When I hear four, five, six, seven, okay, like the first thing that I thought of was like, oh, just like the Miami Heat, and you were like, oh, we're going to win four, five, six, seven, not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, when he pulled that with uh, Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh. That was the first thing that I thought of. And I'm like, all right, now that you're pulling that same routine that you did years ago uh, when you first got to Miami, you're now about to be 37, I want to say, in December, which means, like, you yeah. – uh, are you expecting to be Tom Brady? Like, are you expecting to be, like, somebody that's going to be playing at the top of his game even in his 40s? Like, uh, that's very something that, like, I take precaution of. I kind of feel like he's going to be that same caliber like Kobe where you don't see him coming off the bench. I, I highly doubt LeBron, you'll ever see LeBron come off the bench. So until that moment where I think he just can't physically be a starter anymore is when he'll call it a day. If his body decides to you know start shooting down before, knock on wood. But um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, you know I, I, at this point, I, I see him playing for another at least five years. I mean, as long as he takes care of his body. I mean, I don't know. This season... Kind of give a, a, a kind of give a preview of what to expect. I mean, he's aging; he's not young anymore, but he, he still this dude still got it. I mean, I, I was gonna say, like, dude, before he got hurt and he got taken out by Solomon Hill, uh, I will say that it almost looked as if LeBron James was one of the favorites to win the MVP this year. So at the age of thirty six, yeah. he played phenomenal this past season. Uh, injury aside. I think if he is able to, like, just not even be an MVP candidate, but, like, be someone that's maybe 22. Like, if he's dropping the same type of stat line that Russell Westbrook is dropping with the Washington Wizards, that will be impressive. Yeah, I think he could still play at that caliber uh, of uh, a player. I don't know. I, I wasn't sure where to finish that sentence there. But I still think he could still perform at a high, high rate, we'll say. Uh, you know, even if... You know, like I said, even if he slowed down a little bit, the dude's still athletic. I mean, the guy's gifted, so he's still going to go ball out and get bonkers. But, I mean, I, I doubt we're going to see – I don't know. Like I said, this past season kind of feels like we started seeing the beginning beginnings of him slowing down a little bit. Is that, is that, I think we talked about that before, right? You yeah. You kind of noticed it too. Yeah, especially in the playoffs. Excuse me. Um, especially in the playoffs against the Phoenix Suns. I mean, he wasn't attacking the rim when that's for the taking, like you got Mikael Bridges on you and Mikael Bridges uh, looks like a miniature sized car compared to the tank that LeBron James is. And so I'm like, why isn't he taking it strong to the hoop? Like, yeah, granted there's Jay Crowder guarding him sometimes, but we saw before what Jay Crowder uh, does, or like, I'm sorry, what LeBron James does against Jay Crowder. So I was like, LeBron James isn't a hundred percent. We might think he's a hundred percent, but he wasn't during the Phoenix Sun series. So I think that was what was hindering him was the fact that he wasn't exactly over the high ankle sprain that he sustained back in March of 2020. Yeah, so you know, and plus he's laid off the HGH, you know, uh, apparently, uh, so allegedly. I think maybe allegedly. <laughs> oh, that's right. Apparently, I used the wrong word there. Maybe it was just a Freudian slip. I don't know, but uh, he is on my team, so I can't be saying that stuff anymore. But uh, to your point, yeah, like, I, do you think the Lakers would ever have the audacity of benching a player such as LeBron James? Like, I can never imagine LeBron James coming off the bench for any team. No, I mean, not, not at all. Uh, that, you know, I said that, like, 
five minutes ago. I don't see him ever coming off the bench. I think. Oh uh, no, yeah, I was just going off of your point, it. like that you made a. Good oh point. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm just going off of what you were saying. Like I can never ever imagine LeBron James oh, coming off the bench. Mean. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely not. Uh, I, I, yeah, I don't see him swallowing this pride. Uh, I see him, uh, you know, pretty much aiming for Space Jam three and then calling it a day. Maybe I don't know. Maybe he's going for the trilogy. I think ultimately. He, even though that seemed like a very sales pitch that he said, uh, you pointed <laughs> out one part of it that sounded like a sales pitch. I also pointed out another. I think when it comes to it, LeBron James only cares about two things and two things in his career. and that's, Money. <laughs> uh, well, that too. But I was going to say the last two <laughs> things he wants to do is beat Kareem's all-time scoring record. And he also wants to play with Bronny. So I don't think... When like everything that he said language wise, when it comes to the contract, unless the Lakers are able to get Bronny onto the Lakers, I think he's gonna go take in style and Liam Neeson it Liam Neeson it by looking and searching for wherever Bronny is, because then he'll play with Bronny with whatever market he lands in. I hope he gets like <laughs> I hope like he gets drafted by like I don't know the Sacramento No wait, we don't want the Sacramento Kings to draft Ronnie. <laughs> I was um, gonna say I was trying to think of a crappy team. Oklahoma City Thunder, maybe like maybe there you go. Yeah. Small market. Yeah, it has to be like a really crappy small market team. That would be hilarious. And be good for them too, because I know they're not gonna win anything. But the fact that they have like LeBron James and Bronny, like, you know, get some eyes on uh on their team for once and uh, you know, some views, some clicks, but that's it. Uh, but I, I I see that too. Uh, you know, I see him staying until Bronny's uh, drafted, and then him just yeah, just going wherever he's gonna go. I doubt they'll win a ring together because I think that's what he said in his uh, in his interview, right? Uh, or did I hear that wrong from LeBron? Yeah, about him uh, like trying to win a championship with his son. Yeah, that's obviously like a bigger picture goal, but I think he'll be. It's like when Ken Griffey was in the same. Uh, league at the same time as his dad it's just like oh that's wishful thinking but neither of you guys are in your prime yet yeah no i, I don't see that happening if anything they could do like a father-son dance but that's about it yeah maybe uh i don't know maybe they'll start a podcast together maybe a taco tuesday podcast that they never got <laughs> off the ground the brawn uh well instead of like ddt it would be like btt or <laughs> like the brawn taco <laughs> tuesday <laughs> podcast or the brawny taco tuesday something i'm so i'm still kind of livid at the fact that he was still trying to copyright taco tuesday dude he's a salesman since... he's a salesman <laughs> money that's that's lebron james money that's all he cares about dude and, and championships i guess okay like going with what lebron was saying about four or five six years like i see that more with anthony davis and again i'm not a fan of the lakers i'm just someone that's covering them and i would wishfully want Anthony Davis to be the one that ends his career with the Lakers. However, with his injury prone history that he has, do you feel as if like he would be someone that would be saying the same exact thing as LeBron right now? Do you think like he wants to spend the next four, five, six, seven years with the Lakers? You know, I don't, I don't know about Davis. Uh, I don't know. I I haven't seen enough yet. Like, I think if he keeps winning, if they win a couple more championships, then yes. I could see that, but as of right now, I don't know. That's a that's a good question because I really don't see him. I don't see a long picture with him as of right now. Will I see it? Yeah, it just depends on what the outcome is going to be. So it's one of those like I don't. We you know won't. I can't answer it until I see it. But I don't know. How, how about you? Do you think? Do you think he'll stay? Oh, I think he'll stay. Um, the thing that I d- actually I doubled down on this. I would buy because I'm not sure if you know. I'm a card collector when it comes to like basketball cards and stuff. And, and Pokemon? <laughs> no, I sold all those. Um, yeah. I had I, I was talking to a girl. There was something I couldn't hang up in my room, if you know what I mean. Uh, but <laughs> and, then, and then you lost your virginity. <laughs> um, but what I uh, would do is go onto eBay, and I would look at certain cards that are graded. So, like, there's PSA graded 10. Like, they could be graded 8, whatever. Like, 10 is the highest they'd be graded. Anthony Davis's stock for these cards have dropped so low that it would make sense to buy them now and then to sell them when he has a great season. So, and like, even then, like if he like retires the next day, he's an NBA champion. He's an NCAA champion. He's an Olympic gold medalist. He's the only person to have ever done all of those um, at such a young age. So I think with Anthony Davis, he's always, Anthony Davis is going to be his own special player when it's all said and done. So the value of him will go high no matter what.